We've been following this story since it all started just before 3 o'clock this morning. Florida, so Katie, fill us in. What happened on board? Good morning. Well, we're talking about the Royal Caribbean's grandeur of the seas cruise ship. The big game is over, but the celebration isn't even close to being done here in Miami. Researchers in Texas believe they figured out a mysterious ailment that can cause someone to feel intoxicated without drinking any alcohol. It's not hard to miss for those driving along I-95. I'm standing right next to part of it at five foot nine, and as you can see, it just towers right above me. Roxanne, I'm looking forward to that nice weather we're supposed to have next week. We've had steady rain flow here for the past 15 to 20 minutes. Good morning from the Atlantic Ocean, where lobster mini season is well underway, and they've already caught at least a dozen lobster. I'm actually holding one in my hand right now. Well, the things that we do to bring you an entertaining live shot, we are braving the cold right now, and I'm trying to get over my fear of heights to bring you this great view of the South Florida Fairgrounds. Developing this morning, we're working to find out more information about a shooting that happened this morning in Palm Beach Gardens. Right now, we know a man was shot in the leg and then taken to St. Mary's Medical Center. That's right. Kelly, I'm already getting a head start doing a little bit of window shopping right now. Well, you may have heard of the shop local campaign in other cities. It's been almost 15 hours since this fire first started. And if you look closely enough, you could see Sunnyland patio furniture still smoldering. Luckily for me, there are still three days left to get those final gifts and stocking stuffers. And I'm not going to be alone. In fact, malls across our area and across our country are expected to be Pack. John, just within the past 10 minutes, an employee with the Florida Department of Transportation just got done painting over this wall you see behind me. We're right off 95 here in Delray Beach. Underneath that paint was the word jihad. It's a Muslim word that means holy war, and it didn't sit well with drivers who came across it. Anybody could probably do it at night because you're on the highway, no one hardly pays attention, but when you do catch it on the corner of your eye, you're just like, wow. Wow is just one of the words drivers had to say when they saw jihad spray painted on the side of this wall. It's just south of the Atlantic Avenue exit in Delray Beach, a stretch of roadway Heather Smith has been traveling daily. For being a disabled veteran, that, that upsets me. The sign's not hard to miss for those driving along I-95. I'm standing right next to part of it at five foot nine, and as you can see, it just towers right above me. Technically, it's a message. I mean, it's, it's huge, it's definitely a message. It's a little nerve-wracking. People gotta see that and understand something's going on, you know? There's no telling yet who's behind the graffiti. State troopers are investigating the crime with one piece of evidence, this spray paint can. Probably a bunch of kids, to be honest, I mean, but still, I mean, what, what possesses kids to, to do that? They, they just don't even understand what it means and what it comes from. Deeper into Delray, at the intersection of Southwest 4th Avenue and Linton Boulevard, you find this sticker on the corner. The sticker also reads Jihad. If it's a joke, it's a sick joke, but if it's, you never know if it is a joke or not. Keely, well, I've got our tickets ready for the 21 of us in our office pool who are all ready to win the money and take home a lot of cash. Unfortunately for us, though, the odds of that happening are very slim, but that hasn't kept a lot of people from coming out today, buying those Powerball tickets, many of which are very optimistic about tonight's drawing. Weather in English? Playing the Powerball today? Or in Spanish? Es que está jugando el Powerball. One thing is clear. Today's Powerball is worth playing. I've never bought a lottery ticket in my life. Why did you decide to do it now? Half a, half a billion dollars, right? That'll, that'll influence anybody. The odds of winning are very slim. Lottery experts say you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning than hitting the jackpot. Those odds? One in 175 million. How much are you having? Uh, $10. $10? Yeah. The statistics, though, didn't scare off these early risers from grabbing a ticket with their cup of coffee. When asked what they would do if they won, many say they'd help out their families, travel, and... Immediately go see a very good tax attorney since the tax laws are changing. 20 members of the News Channel 5 morning crew created our own pool to play, offering up some cash to this generous 7-Eleven manager if we actually win. You, yeah, if you win... I will fly you to Tallahassee. You don't have to give me anything. I'll be happy with the permission. 
one minute and 20 seconds of terror. This video, just released from Delray Beach Detectives, shows the armed robbery that took place Saturday night at one of several community markets in the city. This one in the 1100 block of Atlantic Avenue. You see the two men who covered their faces with bandanas walk right in past two young girls. Then they start shooting. Even though children were in the store, they were still brazen enough to fire numerous rounds at people and had no disregard for anyone in the store at all. No one was injured here, but the crooks made off with some cash, even stealing money from the little girl who appears to be four or five years old. They're very, very dangerous, and their main purpose is to get money apparently, and they'll do anything it requires to get that money. The next morning, police say they went to get more money at another community market, but this time they took more than cash, they took people's lives. Police have surveillance video from inside this store where two men were shot and killed yesterday morning, but they wouldn't release it to us or even show it because they say it's too graphic. But detectives hope those watching this video will take a closer look at the masked criminals and help put an end to their deadly crime spree.